everybody. John Huber here, Maryland K-12. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about this, the, the beginning of the implementation of the Maryland, of, of the blueprint for Maryland's future. This is the education legislation known or originally as the Kerwin Commission, and it is coming. It's coming hard, and it's billions and billions of dollars on the way. So how, how what exactly is going on? What is it? I'm going to break it down into a couple of different segments. First of all, very briefly, this final implementation plan was approved on December 1st by the, the state legislature or who, whoever the approving body was. I can't remember. There's five pillars, what they call pillars, and each pillar has various objectives. Each objective has various tasks. Um, I, I will say that they each pillar has a an, a, a um, forget the term they use it's not an oversight committee but it's like an implement like an advisory panel or whatnot and these are education professionals are volunteering to serve on these on these um, committees the first pillar for example is the um, deals with early childhood education and there's a lot of things coming down this I haven't seen any meetings of the early childhood um, uh, committee advisory committee meeting yet but in early childhood there are three objectives I think um, I, I can't remember and, and any say what they're what they're talking about all three and four year olds will be um, enrolled in pre-k these are low income four year olds by 2026 all three year olds by 2032 so you're talking about a 10 year implementation plan um, and one of the objectives that deals with a combination system of private and public, the private being the, the pre-K uh, daycare centers and whatnot. And they have to, they, they're going to take up 30% of the slots, according to the plan, um, and that's by fiscal year 23. So between now and fiscal year 23, which is just like the next year, um, they want 30% of these slots to be taken by, by private entities. Uh, fiscal year 26, just a few years later, um, there, there's a handful of um, certification qualifications for pre-K. All these pre-K teachers need to be certified in early childhood education. They all need to be, in, in the, the teaching assistants need to be CDA certified, which is like a childhood development uh, assistant. I, I don't, can't remember all the acronyms, but it, it's another certification that the assistants need to have. By fiscal 27, they want 50% of these pre-K things to be um or these these pre-k um, services to be privatized, and you know it, it take that what you what you may, and three and four year olds from low income were going to be enrolled, all going to be enrolled by fiscal year thirty two. So this is a, a ten year rollout plan, full day pre-k for four year olds up to three hundred. You know, up like up to three hundred percent of the poverty level. That's what they're using to determine who qualifies as low income and then there's a sliding scale up to 600 percent so if you're 600 percent or more then it's option you, you can have option and you're going to have to pay for it yourself but according to them this full day kindergarten will be available um they they, they are, are big on a mixed public and private system um and then there's also transportation for all these They're, they expect this the governments the 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 LEAs, you hear that term a lot, that's the, the local education agencies, you know, Anne Arundel, Howard, Hartford, Charles, PG, whatever, they expect them to pick up the tab for the transportation. I, <laughs> they can't even transfer their, their own kids right now. And, and, and that's just one p particular objective um, within the first task or within the first pillar. Um, the other ones talks about... Um, Kindergarten readiness, the the, the, the the implementation, this one is what got me to the KRA, the kinderness, the kindergarten readiness assessment. And it's just like there's this one sentence in there that says that the students who are not kindergarten ready, um, we're going to, you know, identify them and provide additional resources to make them kindergarten ready. Well, it sounds simple enough. What do you think these teachers have been doing for the past 10 years <laughs> or 20 years or, or however long? This didn't just, uh, th this is this is nothing new. So anyway, that, and there's a lot of these, uh, we talked about this a while, Judy Centers and Patty Centers, I think they're called, something like that. These these kind of parental, you know, where they're helping the parents learn how to, how to manage um, children and whatnot. So it's a very ambitious plan. There's a lot going on, and this is what's coming. Now, the 
committee, the advisory committee, has not begun to to meet on this to start really fleshing out the nuts and bolts of how they're going to do this. That's what's going on now. And that's why everything's been really quiet because now they're running around scratching their heads trying to figure out how are we going to do this. And if you follow my next video, which I'm about to do as soon as I finish this one, we're talking about the teacher certification pillar that they're starting to flesh out and that they're, they're starting to scratch their heads and figure out how this is going to work. So the rubber is starting to meet the road, folks. And I, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what's going to come out of it. But they're starting to ask a lot of questions that most people who read this stuff ahead of time asked. And now they're starting to find. So anyway, that's what's going on as far as Pillar 1. It's there. It's been approved. Now we're waiting to see what the uh, if the advisory committee is going to start meeting on this stuff. And, hey, I'll follow it because, you know... <laughs> I have time, and right now, actually, and you're ready to go to take a look at this, the state board is meeting with the accountability board for the first time, and it's just a bunch of stuff about college career readiness and their um, and, and what they define as. It doesn't look like anything big's coming out today, so it's the end of the year is winding down, and as usual, things are starting to um, slow down. People just generally don't want to, uh, you know, o open up a new can and, until the end of the in, until the beginning of the new year. So anyway. I hope this, uh, keep keep in touch. I'll, I'll keep tabs on the stuff. If you have any questions, anything we look for, let me know. So thanks. Have a great day.